Well, I'm finally back from Colorado. I was gone for about nine days. It's been about ten days now. I haven't played Advanced Warfare in a couple of weeks. You, oh my, get, get, get on it. <laughs> and uh, it feels good to be home. Uh, dealing with in-laws is always interesting. But, uh, my, my sister and brother-in-law are, are pretty cool. Uh, it's the other kind of in-laws that are uh, interesting. <laughs> Any of you that are married, interesting is, is probably a safe word. And... Uh, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. I, I had, some of you guys know I've been dealing with some gallbladder issues. I actually had a gallbladder attack while I was out in Colorado. They want to do an emergency gallbladder surgery to get that thing out. And I was like, I got to get on a plane tomorrow, man. There's no way, no way I can do that. So they gave me a bunch of drugs and, uh, and uh, sent me on my way. And I made it home. So it feels good to be home. I got to meet up with the doctor, figure out what's going on there. But it feels good to be home. And I guess there's been a lot of work done to advance warfare since I've been gone. Some weapon tweaks. Uh, the the BAL, the BAL, BAL of Duty got nerfed. A couple other weapons saw some tweaks. They upped the score and domination. Now, this gameplay that you're watching is going to be a pre-patched domination, so it's only 50 points per kill. I was going to get a new domination gameplay, but I just I haven't had time. We're going to set up Christmas decorations, do all that stuff today. It's been pretty crazy, obviously, the last two weeks. So uh, I will definitely get some new gameplay soon. Uh, it was, uh, I can say... The difference between the pre-patch and the post-patch domination, because you guys know I've been trying to do, you know, is this game mode fun? I've done free-for-all, I've done momentum, I've done uh, kill confirm. This time it's domination. Domination is fun. Domination has a great pacing on this game. Pre-patch and post-patch are pretty different. Uh, if you guys didn't know, they, they, they upped the points from 50 to 100. Now instead of needing, you know, 14 non-objective kills to get your bombing run or whatever kill streak you're running... Uh, you can actually get it in seven kills now. It kind of deters people from PTFOing a little bit, but it also encourages people to run the low streaks like the UAV and the 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 system hack. That system hack has to be one of the most annoying kill streaks in the history of Call of Duty. I definitely need to put what is it hardwired or whatever it is. I need to put that on all of my classes because they get called on you about ten times a game. It's it's crazy. So the game plays much different pre-patch and post-patch. I still think it's a fun game mode to play. Definitely one that you need to check out. I know there's a lot of you guys that are still waiting to get the game until maybe Christmas. You're still wondering what I'm thinking about the game. Uh, I don't really like the non-objective game modes in this game, like TDM and free-for-all. Uh, I, I cover free-for-all. I haven't covered TDM yet because I don't really play it. Uh, PTFO just makes the pacing seem a little bit faster, gives people something to do while they play instead of just sitting in corners. Obviously, you're going to run into campers every once in a while, but for the most part, people are moving. Uh, the upped point system, I'll be honest, I don't think the 100 points is going to stay, or maybe it will because I never know what these devs are going to do. I don't think it should stay. 100 points is a little bit much. The amount of system hacks and UAVs and a little double punch there, uh, it's just a little bit too much. Uh, they either need to... I, I, 75 sounds like maybe it would... I can't believe they went from 50 straight to 100. Maybe they should try 75. Uh, there's definitely more streaks, which I generally don't mind streaks, but there's definitely more streaks. But it's still a fun game mode to play. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering, LP, did the did the patches fix the connections? Uh, for me, when I was searching for games about 10 o'clock in the morning, I only played about three games. It was only finding me three games. So it would say three games found trying to join one of three. For a game that's only a month old, I know it was 10 o'clock in the morning, but that just seems insane to me as I go... Mad mode on the B flag. So, uh, it's also a lot of parties. This game really encourages parties. I'm a solo player. And being solo, I think, gets me kind of shafted on the connection in sometimes because it's putting me against party players. Who knows where they're from? Uh, the, I can't really make a fair assessment on if the connections got better after that patch because, uh, like I said, I only played three games. It pretty much felt the same. A lot of one-bullet deaths. A lot of me shooting three people three times me dying one time but you know what like i keep saying you just kind of got to fight through that stuff if you're going to play the game knowing that the connections are what they are you kind of either just got to fight through it or, or go play something else so uh, it's definitely playable you just have to kind of know what you're playing you kind of have to know what you're getting yourself into so 
Is domination fun? Yes, it's fun. There's definitely an adjustment after the, the score increase. I'd like to see that go down to 75, but who am I? You know, who am I? I'm just LP. I'm a, I'm a nobody to, uh, to these guys. I'd like to see it go to 75, but it probably won't. I definitely want to know your guys' thoughts on domination. Maybe one of the most popular game modes, uh, PTFO game modes we've had in Call of Duty. Let me know what you guys think about domination. Uh, do you find it to be fun? Do you like the pacing? What do you think about the maps? Are they set up well for it? Uh, let me know all those things down in the comments. And uh, as far as streaming goes, I will get back to that immediately, if not today. So keep an eye on Twitch, Twitter, all that stuff. I have no idea what I'll stream. We'll see. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see me stream. And as always, thanks for watching. Later.